Welcome to this lecture on installing iBooks Author on your Mac. iBooks Author is a Mac only application and it requires that your Mac has a minimum OS version of 10.9, which is also known as Mavericks. If you don't know the operating system that you currently have installed on your Mac, you can go to the Apple menu, select About This Mac, and this window will show you both the operating system name as well as the version number that you currently have installed. So in my case, I have OS 10 Yosemite, which is version 10.10, .10, so I'm ready to go. If there is an update required, you can click on the software update button and update your operating system to the latest operating system that your Mac will support. OS 10 Yosemite and OS 10 Mavericks were free upgrades, so if you have a fairly recent Mac, you shouldn't have any issues in upgrading to either Mavericks or Yosemite. Now the other thing that's required is an Apple ID, and if you don't have an Apple ID already, you can get one through the download process, or you can open up a web browser, go to Apple ID, apple.com and click on the create an Apple ID button. Now remember that this can be your personal Apple ID because you're just using the Apple ID to download an app from the App Store. It doesn't have to be the Apple ID that you will use to publish your books. So what we're going to do is just close this window and I'm going to launch the App Store which you can see is sitting in my dock. It's the blue circle with an A on it. Go ahead and launch the App Store and this brings up the featured tab in the App Store. What I'm going to do is go to my search field and type in iBooks author. You can see that there are a number of results here, including some template sets that you can download for free and some that are available to you at a cost. Now we're going to ignore these for now, and what we're going to do is click on the first link, which is the actual application. It should be free, so what you should see here is a get button, not a price. So we'll go ahead and click on iBooks author. That brings up the product detail page. You can get more information about iBooks Author, access the Apple website, access the support pages. You can also get information on the minimum requirements as well as the languages that are supported by iBooks Author. Now near the top we're going to have this Get button. If you click on the down arrow you can see you have some options for copying the link and so forth. This is actually a nice way of being able to copy the link from the books that you publish in the bookstore and send them out to family and friends and to your circle of reviewers but we'll get to that a little bit later. What we're going to do right now is click on the Get button. When we click on it once, it turns green, it tells us to install the app. I'll go ahead and click on it again. Now you're going to be prompted for your Apple ID. Again, this can be your personal Apple ID. We've gone ahead and signed in. And once the install is underway, you'll see that the button turns into a gray button again. It says Installing. And if we want to check the progress, we can go to the launch pad. We can see that this is a 412 meg application and I've got about 58, 63 megs of it downloaded. So once the application downloads, it'll just install and then you'll be able to launch it from your applications folder. And that concludes our lecture on installing iBooks Author on your Mac.